Hi, I'm Dr. Ben Benham. I'm a board certified dermatologist and I practice in the beautiful Los Angeles, California. Uh, I specialize in stem cell hair restoration. I was one of the first uh, pioneers of stem cell hair restoration doctors in the US uh, back in 2016 and I have a lot of stem cell videos out there so I'm gonna show you guys another one I'm actually very excited about this one uh, so so this was a patient uh, who came and saw me in January of 2023 and he did not want to get a hair transplant and he wanted to do stem cells so when I looked at him first I told him he should not do stem cell. Told him, don't do stem cell, it's not gonna work. Um, and the reason is because I really try to pick really, like, I really try to tell my patients who's a good candidate, who's not a good candidate. Uh, in my opinion, I think the patients who are the best candidates for stem cells are the ones that when you look at the scalp, you know, you could, you could see through the hair, you could see the scalp, but a lot of hair is still there. That means you have miniaturized hair. In this case, uh, he has some hair here, but this a lot of this area was empty and I told him I don't think you're a good candidate. I think you should do hair restoration um, And you know, but he you know, he, he didn't want to do hair transplant. He's like no I want to do stem cell and we're gonna see how it does. I'm not fine But you know, but you have to realize that stem cells, you know, people have different results and resolve very. And I told him, look, it's possible that you might do stem cell and you might not see results. And he's like, fine. Uh, so we did a 60 ml PRP with a 30 million stem cells. And um, I clearly remember doing this because we were in our operating room and we were watching wedding crashers. I remember this, we watching wedding crashers. And, um, and everyone TV had great hair. I'm like, look, I hope your hair grows out. So we're gonna do this, I'm gonna pray over it. Um, and now prior to this, for years, he has been taking uh, finasteride for many, many years. So, and, and I didn't stop that. I continued the finasteride. I didn't do anything different. So we did a stem cell, we did a lot of pokes. So we cleaned the area, we numbed the area. I probably did about five to 700 tiny pokes in the area. Really tried to spread the stem cell out uniformly. So, so this was back in January of 2023. And he came and saw me in, uh, in May, four months later. And this is him, four months later. And to my surprise, it finally grew out. Now he was, I think, he's been on finasteride for 20 years. And what has happened was that the finasteride just plateaued. You know, it just wasn't working. But the stem cell really boosted this area. And to my surprise, he actually did very well. And I think this is a very good example how stem cells takes a lot of those fine hairs that were there and really thicken them up. Stem cell doesn't do magical. It doesn't take hairs that don't exist and make him grow there. It's not like that. This is not a Harry Potter movie. But what it did was that uh, there was a lot of miniaturized hairs that we saw even with magnification um, and then things gonna grow out, but actually in him he grew out. So I'm super excited that he grew out. He actually decided to do another stem cell. I still believe he was a very good candidate for hair transplant to begin with, but he still he didn't wanna go through the transplant procedure, which I completely understand. Uh, but again, couple points here. Number one, not everyone is a great candidate for stem cell. The best patients that are good candidates are the ones that are not bald, that really have some hair there. Um, he's in his late 50s. I think he did pretty well, but sometimes, you know, the older you get, sometimes the result might not be as great. Um, and uh, finally, uh, you, know, you have to realize that the result is not permanent. And you know, typically the stem cell results last about a year to a year and a half. Uh, but the fact that he's on finasteride, it could probably uh, maintain that results a little bit longer. Although the finasteride has been on, has been on 20 years and he probably plateaued, but the fact that the hair grew out, it could maintain the hair for a little bit longer period of time. So again, so I'm super excited about this case. I want to show it to you guys. Again, this is a case where I did not think it's gonna grow out but he did great. But you know, the most important thing at the end of the day is to really be honest with your patient and really tell them who's a good candidate and who's not a good candidate for this procedure because not everyone is a good candidate. Thank you so much, have a beautiful day.